This snippet is An Introduction to Silverlight. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from Aquin Graphics Institute for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll discover how designers can take advantage of unique features in Silverlight 2. Microsoft Silverlight is a cross-browser, cross-platform plugin for delivering .NET-based media experiences and rich interactive applications for the web. Silverlight content provides a broad range of interactive experiences. So these include things like animation, multimedia, including web video, web services, games, and even mobile devices. Throughout this snippet, we'll look at a few of these examples. The best place to get started looking at some examples and learning more about Silverlight is here at silverlight.net. What I'm going to do is click on the Showcase link. And what we'll see is actually a very good example of a Silverlight application on its own. Here we have a series of thumbnails. Each one of these represents a Silverlight application or website. You can see that as I hover over these, the date that this was added appears in a small pop-up. What's nice about this site is that a lot of these contributions are user-submitted, and you can see the most recent ones here at the top. However, you can also search. What I'm going to do here is search for this term, hard rock, and the results will be narrowed down to one application, hard rock memorabilia. Let's go ahead and click on that, and we're going to view this site in a new window. If you just want to look at this on your own, it's memorabilia.hardrock.com. And what we're looking at here is actually a Silverlight application embedded within a web page. And furthermore, the Silverlight application was created using two technologies, one named Deep Zoom Composer and the other Expression Blend. Now, Expression Blend is part of the Expression Studio, while Deep Zoom Composer is a standalone application which you can actually download for free. So what we're looking at here is a series of image thumbnails, and each thumbnails represent a single item in the Hard Rock Memorabilia collection. Now the deep zoom experience begins when I begin to zoom into any one of these thumbnails. And I can do this using the scroll wheel on my mouse. So as I begin to zoom in, I can choose what I'm looking for. And I can actually drag it over. And you'll see that when I zoom in to a certain degree, a small pop-up appears on the right-hand side, which tells me a little bit about this item. Here I've got Bob Marley's 12-string acoustic. So this is very cool. And you'll see that the resolution here is pretty amazing. I can zoom right in and see some detail here that I wouldn't otherwise. So again, we need to keep in mind that this entire application was created using a combination of the Deep Zoom Composer and Expression Blend. So one of the features that was created using Expression Blend is the ability to sort through these items by artist. So for example, I'm going to go to the first one here, the Beatles. And as I click on this, you'll see that 31 items are now sorted. So just here on its own, this is an experience that would be impossible to replicate in HTML. Furthermore, you can see some of the resolution here. It's pretty amazing. As I zoom in, in this case I'm looking at the handwritten lyrics for While My Guitar Gently Weeps, we can see that the detail begins to snap in. At the same time, we also have some other features located here on this right-hand panel, such as the ability to share this link, the ability to click on external links and learn more about this object. Okay, I'm going to close this browser window, and let's look at another example. Now this example is on Microsoft.com, and this example shows us a Silverlight application that's integrating web video. And here what we have is an interactive experience that allows me to hover over each one of these phones and learn a little bit more about it. Down below I've got a little scroll bar here that allows me to scroll through. Again, this is a custom control that was created in Expression Blend. And at any given point, I can click on one of these items and zoom in a little bit. Now currently I have the sound turned off so that we don't get the full experience here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button Skip Demo just to show you a few more features that were created using Expression Blend. Here in the middle I have this Windows mobile device. And you can see that there's a small slider. If I click and drag, I'm getting a 360 degree view. At the same time, I've also got this list box on the right hand side. And within this list box, I can learn a little bit more about the software that's included with this particular phone. I can also learn where to get the phone. In those two examples I showed you, there was a team of people working on the project. And some of the roles in that project might include interactive designers, visual designers, and developers. To understand the Silverlight authoring workflow a little bit better, we have this graph here in front of us. So the content creation tools that are involved in making Silverlight applications are listed here. Let's start on the left and we have Expression Design. Expression Design is most likely 
the designer's tool of choice. In this application, a designer would most likely make things such as buttons, user interfaces, or just illustrations for use within Expression Blend. Expression Blend is really where much of the action takes place. Here in Expression Blend, you might take content created in Expression Design and further fine tune your user interface. You would also be able to add still images, video, animation. The video in this case is represented down here by an Expression Encoder. However, in order to add any interactivity to a Silverlight application, a designer would either have to go into Visual Studio to do this, or more likely, a developer would go into Visual Studio to add interactivity to an Expression Blend project. Something as simple as hooking up a button to create an animation. Now you can see that the common thread between all of these applications is something called XAML. Now XAML is a markup language, and one of the main benefits of XAML is that it allows the application logic, which is defined here by Visual Studio, to be separated from the presentation, in this case blend and design. This allows teams of developers and designers to work smoothly together. So in this snippet, we've looked at some of the features available in Silverlight. We've also looked at the Silverlight authoring workflow. For now, my name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from Aquant Graphics Institute for Microsoft.